All right, folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. And uh, today we tested out the, uh, you know, the new mobile G3. You know, this is the follow-up to putting where my money where my mouth is, saying it's a great screen and everything like that. Uh, right now, it's almost too bright to show on camera. It's just hard to get it to focus at all. Uh, just too much glare with every, all the lights facing me but it's 5 50 p.m and we're still at 30 percent we'll go over all of my findings right after this i'll show you screen on time and all those good things you'll love it trust me let's do the intro and a short ad Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer and I'm only paying $4 and 50 cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech and now let's get back to that video we were doing all right folks i use this thing all day literally all day and so we're going to go over a few things the current time is uh 5 55 or so something like that depending on which of my clocks I look at and my wristwatch says 5.55. So it's been on for quite a while. <coughs> and of course this thing is offered us a voiceover LTE 4G all day. And we still have 30% battery as you can see. So let's go over a few things real quick. Let's go in here and check out. This says we're at 31 percent. How much time we got left? Oh, about five hours left. Last full charge was 13 hours and 28 minutes ago. It's quite a while. So if we go here. We still got about, according to this, five hours left. I'm not really sure about that. But our screen on time was ridiculous today. Let's go back a little. Three hours and 11 or 12 minutes. 11 minutes so far. And, of course, that's going up right now. Now, I did shoot a couple of video segments, short ones, and then I stitched them together and edited them in PowerDirector Pro on the new G3. Uh, I couldn't put the whole video to get together there because, well, frankly, I have a ton of different files that I tap into and that would have involved having the, moving everything from the Xiaomi over to here. But it did edit a video in a couple of minutes, a one-minute video, Less than a minute uh, with one transition, and that's that. So we'll we'll stuff that in here shortly. But as you can see, battery life is exceptional for a three thousand milliamp hour battery. I did not charge this at all today, folks. Never got near a charger. Three and a half hours of screen time. If you're a budget user, 
You ain't staring at your damn phone all day. Or probably not. Hopefully not. And if you're giving it to your parents, they don't even know what, how to go to Facebook and Instacrap and all those others. So this thing will get the job done. The screen is bright and sharp. Uh, it just is. So, you know, right now that is absolute minimal brightness on this thing. It's at the bottom. That's the best I can get you. So, let's see what else. Uh, we were, we've used AirDroid on it. We took some photos for a car at work and put those up. And I totally forgot AirDroid was running for like an hour and a half. Uh, for the most part, I watched a ton of YouTube videos because there was just no one coming in, no customers. And everyone... Well, I basically said I work alone for hours. And so I just hooked up the Bluetooth Electoor headset to it and watched YouTube. It was cool. Left some comments. Yeah. Did my thing. So for the average user who doesn't spend a lot of on-screen time, uh, you'll get a full day out of this. I mean, this is like, you know, 13 hours. That's pretty good. Out of a 3,000 milliamp hour battery, you wouldn't expect that. And it should theoretically keep going. It, it's still got the SIM card in it. I've made phone calls on it, received phone calls on it. Uh, I did shoot the two little short video clips. They didn't come out very great. But we're going to put those up next. I'll show them to you, and I edited those in PowerDirector Pro. Well, it was only a minute and one second or something like that. And then the uh, bottom line is, if you're going to, like, give this to your parents, grandparents, they're going to use this to shoot, you know, a five-second video. But you will see how much better... It is when you plug an external mic in after the following clip. So let's get that done right now. So I'm just going to throw in a short video clip here. Shot with the regular mic. Now remember, we're outside and you really don't get the hissing noise that you get with the mic when using it indoors. So you know, hence the reason I use the external camera. No dongle on this. No nothing. Just... Walking around showing you a few of our cars here. That one we still have to work on and do some painting, obviously. Now, of course, there's no EIS on here to speak of, but we are shooting this at 1080 uh, full HD, you know, 1080p at 30 frames a second. So it's not bad, and it came out pretty good. And I will attempt tonight when I do my, you know, follow up on how I did for the day on video on juice I'll let you know uh, when I uh, throw this clip up there what's going on by the way we're at about 70% and it's 11 a.m. and I've been watching YouTube videos left and right all morning all right folks so here we are uh just doing another walk around with the camera, showing off a couple of cars at work. Now, I have the open camera with the Bobolier mic, the one I got with the nice case. And of course, we have the dongle plugged in and we're using open camera. So, I don't know if this is gonna look any steadier. Uh, it seems to look better, just looking at the viewfinder. So, Open camera might definitely be the way to go. We're shooting at the full HD. So, that's that. Our second test has now officially ended. So, as you can see from that short video clip, yeah, the cameras on this are not the... I mean, they're good. Uh, they just don't have any EIS to speak of stock. But you will notice when you plug the dongle in just how much with a lavalier mic, 
compliment, the louder they are, clearer the audio is. I mean, I'm I'm not even talking loud there. That lavalier mic is a good 10 inches from where I'm talking. Just clipped to my coat. And uh, the EIS and open camera seems to work a little bit. You let me know what you think. Uh, but I'm going to say that this phone is still worth your money. Uh, the $139 version is probably worth it for you know, if you're giving this as a gift to somebody who, or you don't use your phone very much online, uh, you know, to stare at the screen constantly. Stare at the screen. Yeah, that's uh, one of the things that, you know, if you're not addicted to Facebook and Instagram and all that, then have to be on screen. You can watch a lot of YouTube videos. Obviously, you're going to see them in 720p resolution. You're not going to notice the difference. You just won't. And remember, one last time, let me repeat, you're looking at a 720 display with the video turned all the way down. You know, the screen. That's all the way. That's minimum brightness on this thing, folks. This thing is clear, sharp, worth every penny for viewing. Uh, when if, if you whack it up to 100% and walk outside in the bright sunlight, you'll be able to see it. Guaranteed. Just as good as any AMOLED display. So, uh, all that being said, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, as usual, we want your feedback. And I will leave a uh, comment under my first pinned comment for myself. I'll just do it as a reply, and I'll tell you exactly how long I got this to go before it hit 5%. At that point, I'm going to have to charge it because I still do have the SIM card in here, and I'd like to be able to get phone calls if they come in. So that's all we have for today. We'll catch you in the next one.